Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. Our lives, as we know them, are over. What? Golly, we're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay, we came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go before Lola, we get recognized. Milo. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well... Oh, I love that... that... Y your outfit, Lola. Yeah, this is... it's fun, right? I kept telling Lola we should have hung out with you guys more. Then why didn't you? You don't need me to go. We're not each other's sidekicks. Because he needs his wingman. Wing human. Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink, like right now. Come on, the table's right, it's here. Oh, whatever speeds this process up. Oh, and I'm sorry, this is my cousin, Katie. She's gonna be starting here in the fall. Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 never, ever, ever. I know now, but ever. Why would they, why would they think that? Think that you're screwing? <laughs> I mean, somebody has to fuck the next generation of internet stars into existence. Let's drink, come on, they have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? Hi, is this, is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo, Lola? It really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? Yeah, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass to the quad ever again. That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention, all skin bags who now have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. Ooh, okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suit. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. Uh. Generally, just try not to... Uh... Yeah, that's good, thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. Like, why would anyone think we're... I was just as confused as you were. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> yeah, she seemed a little, uh, sloopy. Sloopy? Sloppy Christ, I can't even say the damn. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you wanna go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> you cracked me up, cup? though. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, thanks. No, 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 when, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects! Oh, I couldn't even tell those were in his hand. <gasps> and the score? Oh, if he doesn't get his Oscar. Now, forget the score, man. What about the sets? Yeah, what about that ending? What ending? Uh, wait, what? What, what are we talking about? Sorry, this is Lola, I'm Milo. I think I... Didn't we have the same advanced frisbee class in... Yeah, no, I remember. He's the one who had his wisdom teeth removed and then threw up all over the admissions director. Oh, yeah! That... it wasn't that bad. I think you're, uh, thinking of... of another... human? Like... like I'm the one that finished the triathlon behind that... Uh, that wheelchair guy. It was definitely you. They had that two-page spread in the yearbook. Sigma Kappa gave you a nickname, right? Herpaderp? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was nice catching up. Have a good summer. See ya. 
That, okay, I know that could have gone better. Shit lips, I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dick bags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's, I, I wanna see how easy it is. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes. Go forth and show me how it's done. If you're wondering, I pulled the short straw, so that's why I'm the bartender. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is is just the dream your unconscious body is having? No, totally. And like, what we think of as money is just like, just our projections of value. Don't overheat there, Einstein. Save some of that brain matter for when the psychedelics come out. Uh, who are you? I'm Lola, this is- Colonel Shitlips, we know. Oh, come on, I, that was- Lola, was it? Are you a friend of Captain Pukemouth or Townie? Auditing the school? Thinking of transferring here, maybe? Yeah, it's fine. I get it. Everybody blends together. Like you, right? <laughs> I don't remember you specifically, just like everyone else that's exactly like you. <laughs> okay, well, good to see you guys. Um, <clears throat> keep it, keep it up. Oh, bye, Chin Flaps. Bye, Nola. Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. I sat next to that guy in at least four classes. Okay, all right, look, Milo, I'm so sorry this isn't working out the way you wanted it to. But it's not like any of this shit matters, okay? We graduated, remember? We are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. You think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college? What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, hairy people, your attention please. Stop the awesome music. Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Uh, is this, like, a prank, guys? Because it's a Milo, little... Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Milo, come on, they're just fucking with you. Huh? I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank God I don't have to do my kegels. Uh, holy, holy shit, uh, are, are you? Oh, oh, uh, do you, are you, is what's happening to you okay? Or... Lola, I... What? Is this a... <laughs> oh, look at them! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! <laughs> what? I... What is... Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell is going on in here? Uh, Mr. Matamantis, we were just assisting in the transition I didn't between... I want to hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road. And you better double time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, late for what? the wildly expensive costume ball everyone is apparently going to. Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? Th what? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the... I... Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get processed. <laughs> I, I don't... And the rest of you? Put all this crap away. 
Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. You're, you're probably used to this, but I, we have a couple of questions. Wrong. You want the door there. I'm not a door. Go down the road. The processor will explain everything. Hey, I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox fighting a pack of wolves tonight. I can't really be doing overtime. The wolves have Toy Cobb. Dead. Yeah, how did we even die? I, mean, I don't even remember how we got to the party. Was there a party? What do I know? Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We, we had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. And they can't get sent to hell if they babysat their neighbor's kids for free! Look, right now, wait, 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 look at this. It says, the scales of judgment, where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? Uh, I just can't believe this is happening. Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. Y you might as well say, oh, didn't you know? Every time you fall asleep, you turn into a damn titmouse hey, for eight hey, hours. Either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? Uh, what? Jimmy who? Okay, well, judging by your complexion, you're probably not the plantation owner who was drowned by his kids, so. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Oh, this is insane. This, this, I mean, hell isn't real. You're born, you die, you're miserable in between, and that's it. You can't just make all the rules and then change them at the end. It's cheating. The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen. Hey, don't look at me. I held out hope for something hey, after hey the blimp explosion hey, I planned on dying in. Listen, I got dodecahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh, the toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Just, this is wrong, way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this, they'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Sure. You, you kind of paused there before you said sure, do you? You know that? It kind of makes it sound a little like you don't believe it. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Marcy Sullivan? Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes. Here. Here. Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola, Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, sir, I, we think there's been a mistake since, uh. Please hold all stupid questions and dumb comments till after this part so I don't have to deal with it. Thank you. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Anybody know this guy? Uh, I. My friends usually call me Milo. 
A little overeager pluralizing friends there, but okay, sure. This, okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Is there an Abby here? Table two, okay, that's, this must be us. You know, it's funny, I, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just, I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead, and we are in hell. How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell, and we are dead. Yeah, I know, it's, there doesn't seem to be any bright sides here. Right? Hi guys, I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we, there has, there's been a mistake. We don't, we don't even know why or how we died, so. Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair, all of that garbage gets dumped like a red-headed boyfriend. So, okay, so do you know how we died? I surely don't. No sir, no ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what, we're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I have seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder-suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag-team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, actually, it's hard to remember, but I want to say, yeah, I think I have. You think you have? Okay, cool. All right, Lola. Which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Closest, remember. Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap, the exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have, that's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean, ugh. <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good job, is what I'd be saying if you'd made the shot since that was the test here. I'll just put you down as hands included, but questionable proficiency. <laughs> Lightning oh, round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Uh, phone? Lola, drugs. Yes, please. Milo, crowds. Escape. Milo, I mean... Lola! Break! Like, breaking bones? Ho, ho, ho! What could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind! Lola... What? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow! The sultan of revulsion! The drain on your brain! That pebble in your shoe you just can't get out! I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It, it's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? Uh, 
I'm so sorry, little lady. I didn't see you there. Let, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Maria Waterborn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. Jump in Christ, what is, what, what are? Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados, what does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours, okay, well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Her torture? I, I thought, doesn't hell just, like, generically suck? Yeah, I didn't know there were seat assignments. I would think it an apparentness that cannibals and canoe tippers shouldn't get the same treatment. But yes, you all get different shit that happens to you. Abigail Cunningham? Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball-peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. Ah! What? She wasn't even that bad. Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I... We just did this like two minutes ago. He knows. Milo, this is it. Okay, this is, we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even? Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> Now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun, see you later, I'm going to get drunk. Wait, um, what is, what's our thing gonna be, our, our torture? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but... But what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another ride? Are you like his his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh it's I'm I'm being mean. Okay. I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a I'm a cab driver. A ferryman to be a uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Yeah, you you got it. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here? That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, home. Topside. Earth? If, if that's, if, if that's possible. Home. Hmm. The props assist the house until the house is built. Yeah, doctors do warn you that you don't get to take the drapes when that fastball catches the side of your head. You're saying we're stuck here, she's saying we're stuck here. No, it's, it's just, it's a tall order, that's all. 
Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first and Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Material. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? I promise I won't bite. Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh... Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig... Ah, <sighs> here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your idea. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know, but like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money. Uh, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big landmass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch -in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract. The abyss. The outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story. Longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight. We're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first an izzard. Hey, hey, Sam, Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Anyways, like I was saying, this is first a Izzard. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. First an Izzard? Why is it called first an Izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York called New York? It's named after the Duke of York. Oh, thanks, Brainiac. Why don't you lecture us on what a rhetorical question is next? Wait, why'd we come here? Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. Is Fornius like a, a, um, a demon drinking buddy or something? He's a middle manager in the Fifth Circle. Sometimes he makes requests, you know, specific souls for his department. I think some tech startup guy had a heart attack sport hunting homeless people in Portugal, so maybe it's that. Here goes nothing.
A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it me. isn't the smelliest style of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney. Perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just showing them around. We're not kids, all right? I got a savings account and everything. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. Relax. We'll get into your thing in a bit. Just follow me. Uh, uh, no, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't want to wear it. Get a... him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Hey, uh, Tommy. Or, uh, uh Thomas. I, I should probably... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what young people are into nowadays. Well, it's supposed to suck, right? Would it be insulting if I said that I'm kind of surprised I still have all my teeth? No, the insults here are typically more deliberate. She's Lola, I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to- Wait, 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 wait. you're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me, come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here, and sure, our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. Wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. Ah, <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Okay, but what if my last drink was a sip of champagne at New Year's I thought was apple juice? Then it's pretty fair to say that you wasted your youth. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> Uh, sir, I'm not, a uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday morning? At night? <laughs> uh, buddy, we don't know any Jim Jum, okay? You got the wrong guy. Remember that, that dance man when you scored all those points in the, uh, that, uh, the wheelbarrow? What? Come on, guys. This is a prime opportunity here to really utilize your drunken spirit. You got a brass bull in you, so use it. You remember... Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See, having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ordinary. But, try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. 
Ted, Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should. We're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs to Sam and uh, her info. Okay, let's get him. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... T How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to, oh, never mind, I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, barkeep? What's uh, on the menu this morrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. The Great Amethian sounds pretty cool. A Great Amethian. All right. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job. And people understand that. Most. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. I mean, the uh, help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not going to get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it serious? I was six. Yeah, I do work here, buddy, so it's therapy time, or I'm tossing you out on your ass. Now what's the issue? Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steamed because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie! <laughs> right, Georgie. The talking platypus. Well, he could only talk because I was possessing it all the time. And you don't think that's a betrayal? It was a joke. I'm happy to see you, man. I don't know you, man. Jesus, what a scary motherfucker. And I thought the shapes my slinky made were off-putting. Yeah, you don't mess with a boy's childhood like that. I mean, do you even like Norman Rockwell? Hey, it was a goof! It wasn't a goof to me, dickwad! Hey, if I have to warn you one more time... I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I got sent to an institution, because no one would believe me! I still can't take a piss without carrying a sport for protection! Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the floor. Boy, this cavalier attitude towards your PTSD must make you pretty fucking mad, right? It's nothing worth getting angry about. I just fooled you for nine straight months, that's all. That's it, you giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, the drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that! Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter, and it hasn't been washed in centuries. But it'll be <laughs> dirty! Hey, Van Dyke. Where's, uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, that... The guy we were... 
That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years, yes? It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. Hey, we're, we're cool, okay? I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Oh, so hell's terrible. Is that what you're saying? Why am I not shocked? I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, Done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since. When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo. Welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. Have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho, psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but I feel like I'm always strangely getting involved in random folks' deaths. So if you're a ferryman, woman, uh, how do you get assigned that particular job? Is it like sixth grade PE where you sign up on a clipboard and hope you don't get square dancing? Wait, you didn't like square dancing in gym hey, class? my skin sponsors. The guy that thinks everyone cheated on him. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, it's not like we have any choice in the matter, right? Nope. Having insecurities and being as smart as a dolphin are a package deal. But we'll have fun. Or I hope we will. I I'm still... I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies or, or like, uh, dime store gossip kids. 
They flare up like fireworks from the Correa Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah, it's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. Well, good luck. I'll try to act really, uh, Sad, or whatever, when you show up with a picture of my favorite dead ants. Oh, come on, I think we could do a little better than that. Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds, you wanted to escape them. You, you didn't like them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! But anyways, demons are born to do what they do. It's called versification, doggerel. It's written in their souls, conscripted since the angels. All right, Saint's place is on Welkin Way. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal pools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. All right, let's, uh, let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you! I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. Okay, but he's like evil, though, right? Like he invented evil? Oh, we're talking about the serpent and the forbidden fruit now? Well, if you ask me, he didn't invent evil. He invented uh, dissent, opposition. The idea of uh, going another way of putting chocolate milk and chocolate cereal and not caring if it tastes like too much. Of calling your treehouse your house and your house your dirt box. Of doing your own thing. You know, I can't help but feel like you're defending him, Sam. Morningstar doesn't need defending, Lola. He's got the best attorneys in the universe down here. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke, so... You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties, like... I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know... That guy isn't cool enough to... This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club... There's a faster way, definitely. We see people cut through every night. Some people. Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. 
I mean, we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to out-drink Satan. Bada-bing, bada-boom. It'll take, like, ten minutes. <sighs> All right, let's try it. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant-ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's... There has to be another way. Let's check it out. Um... Hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless she's somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, yes. As long as this is uh, Hell's version of an elevator and not, you know, someone's gonna, like, <laughs> mutilate us. Oh, heavens no. But I can understand the concern, seeing where we are and all. Have all your belongings with you. Great, let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. Second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. Yeah, what time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? Standing in line Is this or the foundation of a house spot? or something? I thought only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now. But back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners of nowhere. Yeah, wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Well, why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? Hi, we'd like to... Look, lady, just because I'm a demon in hell doesn't automatically mean I'm going to mutilate you. Heaven forbid. Do you cross the street when you see a Gorgon carrying the groceries, too? Oh. What? No. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, 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 just take us up one, okay? Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Two organ donors headed up. Oh, all right, take, take, it, take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am. And turbulence accounts for only 2% of falls. Third floor, everybody out. Hey, so this Ferris wheel for my nightmares looks like it's seen better days. Did the, uh, the other fallen angels, the ones that used to live here, uh, use this or something? Oh, yeah, they used to throw crazy blog parties every night until they had, like, falling out or something. Over what? We're definitely sure we definitely don't know. Hey, yeah, uh, can we, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'll take you up. Don't have any time to learn nothing about somebody, I guess. No, 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 we... we don't... Let's just hurry you along before I accidentally mutilate you. Because apparently that's all we demons are good for, mutilating. Okay, we've, we're getting a little in the weeds here. We'd like to go a level up, please. If this place even has an end. Oh, it does. You're almost there. But uh, watch the attitude. Sometimes our claws slip if we're not feeling the vibe. Watch your shit. Don't drop it through the cage. I'm not diving down to get it. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Because Satan likes to keep demons employed, that's why. Fourth floor, get the fuck out. Uh, hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Wanna go up? Great, great, that's, yes, thank you. Your, um, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. Fifth floor, the Tibbity Top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! Oh, shit. 
shit. Jerry, I, I mean, Terry, Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, but what's, what's Baker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone, it comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user-specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Uh, those posts aren't about us, right? I mean, there's probably another Milo and Lola here. No, it's about you. You rarely see posts not about you. It's pretty user-focused. I mean, what's the point of social media if it's not a mirror reflecting your every insecurity? Hey, it's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh wait, you can't. Um, hey, can we can we go in with you? You can like mentally torture us in there if you want. Uh, can we just go in with you? You can like mentally torture us in there if you want. Laugh at them, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Okay, cool. Look, here. There's, uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. Uh, whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's, there's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This'll be downright easy. Awesome, let's get back to Sam and track down these fools. Is this the, uh, the VIP entrance? What gave it away? Was it the everything? Move to the side if you don't have passes. Okay, you're a demon with needs, I'm a demon- a human with needs. What can we do to make this happen? You can go and get yourself an invitation. Are you sure? Wait, you know? Actually, let me check my math on- Yep, that would be the only thing. <sighs> okay. Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep, we should regroup with Sam, figure out our next step. This is a dead end. It is. All right. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Head it down. Watch your feet. Sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but mm -hmm. some cardio wouldn't hurt. Hey, do you, you know? guys know what the uh, the falling out was between Satan and his friends? The uh, the other fallen angels that used to live here? Don't know. And as long as it keeps the foot traffic away, don't care. Let's 
Let's do the demon guy. It sounds like he needs help. It'd be, uh, it'd be nice to do something good at the same time, right? Maybe we're gonna track down a mass murderer or something? I'm kind of hoping it's not that, but yeah, sure. Uh, looks like he works at the school. I wouldn't worry about it. But maybe I'm wrong. I usually am. What school? There's a school in hell. Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions still then, too, okay? Next up, Top Line Park. So, Sam, you said there's a, uh, there's a school here? Yeah, the Nastron School of Physical Suffering and Mental Anguish. Go Wildcats! It's where demons learn how to hurt meat puppies like you most, uh, most effectively. More pertinent to your personal predicament, it looks like your little soon-to-be friend Fella works there in uh, Bobline Park. It's also where you guys just, just were. If you remember, like, ten minutes ago? Did you go to Nastrond to learn how to be a psychopath? No, I am strictly autodidactic down here. Not to say I haven't had teachers, just uh, not to do this job. So, uh, how'd you get Radio, this job? almost a bobble line. Hold on to something, the, uh, the tides can be a little choppy coming in. Okay, uh, thanks for the info. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. And uh, just remember that when you sign for the tip. So this place should look a little familiar. You got processed here, remember? Yeah, I remember. Remember that? When you were processed? Yes, we remember. Of course you do. You don't forget a thing like that. Your first promenade through hell. All right, the guard post is up there, right above the bookstore. It's usually more busy on a, what day is it? Tuesday? But you know, whatever. It's your story. I'll be honest, now that we're actually here, I'm having second thoughts. Why? Because we picked a damn demon over a human being. Like. I know Sam seems cool, but it feels like we're choosing a movie with subtitles oh, when we just need something store. to fall asleep to. It's nice that they still let people read. Eh, check out the window display. Oh, looks like a lot of self-help books about dating, autobiographies from ex-senators, and, uh, what, what, what's Irene Eidsleigh? It's probably best we don't know. But I was just saying, like, I hope fellas, uh, neat and everything, but... Trying to get a demon to help reads like oh, an unnecessary risk. Why does everything here smell like damp socks? Don't worry, we're not gonna end up like... What was that guy's name again? Which guy? The, uh, the, the guy that robbed those liquor stores. I don't even know what you're talking about. The guy that... Oh, never mind. You were probably distracted by the fact that we are dead and in hell. Anyways, I... I just don't want this to be a repeat of March Madness. Oh, come on! <laughs> you were a hall monitor for a month and got half the school's attention. Serpico would have let some of those... Jack Smoker had a broken leg. You think he didn't want to get to lunch on time? I was good at my job, okay? Jefferson Junior High didn't know what to do with all of my shine. Okay, just... Let's just see what's going on and hope this fella guy's not on, like, a coffee break. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, pardon me? Shit, I, I gotta go. Two test humans escaped their pen. Okay, you two. I know this sack smell bad, but you can't just... We're not... No. Are you fella? Because we're here for the spare invite to Satan's party, your um, vicar post. Oh, that. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the guy you want. Great. I'm Lola. This is Milo. Uh-huh. You look a little young. Ah, uh, random question. Were you the detectives on Earth? Oh, killed by a serial killer in a game of cat and mouse? Yes, detectives. Very, very, uh, very good detectives. Well, I've never met a detective before, but you sure talk the talk. I just need a little help with a work thing. I'll, uh, I'll explain on the way. On the way to what? Feisties! The, uh... 
well, they call it a sports bar, but <laughs> it's really just a rat hole with six half-broken TVs and 20 IPAs. So a sports bar? Oh, sorry, we sort of skipped introductions. I'm Fella. I run campus security here at Nastron. The job's easy enough. Mostly catching example humans. The teachers use to show students where to shove cattle prods. But recently, it's been the opposite problem. Some assholes have been sneaking into hell, and the fuckers are still alive! What? Oh yeah, these 20-something pre-med idiots will put themselves into comas to vacation here. Does a real number on the, uh, uh, the gateways. Wait, that's actually, like, possible? You can come to hell when you're still alive? Oh yeah, definitely. This place only locks one way, you know, metaphysically speaking. Anyway, this morning, Debbie down in Dispatch told me that... Hey, here we are! Before we go in, I've gone ahead and pre-prepared a backstory. A cover story, if you will. You two are blasphemers from the Plain of Burning Sand. Come to try out their hot wings, and... I am, uh, well, self-explanatory, really. I'm your child. Your dead child you made with your bodies. While you were still living, of course, but you... You made me with sex, with your sexual organs. I think is how humans put it. I'm uh, sorry, fella, but I'm not really, uh, just how does this make sense? Yeah, are there really babies in hell? Wouldn't they just, like, get a pass? Um, no one really gets a pass for being a selfish, narcissistic sociopath. Babies get the fucking express lane here. But, and last but not least, we should have a password, just in case things go wrong and we have to regroup. Like, uh... Why don't we just say, let's What about, what about, wonderful weather we're having tonight? Oh yeah, cool, that's, uh, makes us sound like we're Georgian spies or something. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, not that I can think of. You guys seem legit, though. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah, sure. We should, like... Get a drink after this, right? We should hang out. Um... To be entirely candid, it's been a slow period, socially speaking, for me. A lot of times I talk into my phone when it's not even on. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we'll just... We'll, we'll circle back on that one later. That's... That's fine. Well, uh, whenever you're set... Whoa, okay, so this is what this place looks like during normal hours? Yeah, this actually used to be a pretty cool dive bar called the Fowler's Snare. Got made into a feisties when the owner tried possessing a puzzle box and got stuck. They do make good cauliflower nuggets, but chain bars give me the fucking creeps. I'll meet you at the bar. We should get a drink first. Holy shit! Felicio! Oh, shit. Is that shit? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> what Weather the fuck, is man? really wonderful tonight, right? Don't you think? About the weather? You're already pulling the ripcord? We just got here. Yeah, well, I didn't know this disguise was so shoddy. Just a... You're detectives! You said so yourself. And why would you lie about something so trivial? Find the person that doesn't belong. I'll be, uh, I'll be right outside when you're done. Hey, Felatio, why are you dressed up like that, you big fucking weirdo? Uh. Welcome to Feisties. Please notice and appreciate all of our playful doodads and shit on the walls. Now what are you pups in the mood for? One frightening visitor, please. Here's a little tip. You can hold the mug in either hand. Uh, 
I'll have the same. All right, all right. Attention, everybody. Look, I know, finding ourselves in hell, it's a bit of a bummer. Boo! <laughs> I certainly wish Michelle and I could have gotten married before our party bus plummeted over that cliff. Uh, let's not let our untimely deaths ruin what could still be the best bachelor's party of all time. Woo! All right, let's get to investigating. Uh, maybe we should talk to Charlie first. Let's sniff out the meddler, but it takes less than 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, after you. Charlie, 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 Charlie. So, Greg, tell me again. How exactly did you become the unquestioned Grand Emperor of Earth? Oh, such a long story. My good friends Han, Indiana, and uh, Richard Kimball were like a rep by the uh, current, well, uh, previous uh, Grand Emperor Dick Decker. Thankfully, a law had been passed to prevent gerrymandering. <laughs> Why are they laughing? <laughs> Nerves, probably. I, it's not every day people get to meet an emperor, you know? And so as the, uh, Grand Sovereign of Terra Firma, your responsibilities are what, exactly? Oh, this and that. Mostly defending all of humankind from various, uh, plagues. Okay, just drop the act, pal. We know it's you. You know I'm who? You're the one that doesn't belong here. Not really. If you mean that it's unfair that a, a, a musculoskeletal disease since birth condemned me to die at a very young age, then yes, thank you, I agree. I don't belong here. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't be. My sister always says, you don't deserve anything in life but the ability to complain. E excuse me, waitress. Could I have another, another martini? I am not a waitress. I'm also not a woman. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> you haven't been this twatted since the last work party at the sawmill. Sorry, I'm Eliza. Are uh, you two uh, part of the groom to bees stag show? I'm not sure who's part of, part of the party and who's um, who's buying booze, you know? Uh, seen anyone a little too happy here? Someone maybe looks like they're sightseeing, asking for directions. That's a pisser. I was just uh, I was just asking for directions, wasn't I? Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be uh, looking for me, would you? Man, it's gotten really loud over here, Rakshasas. <laughs> Do you want to maybe go somewhere a little more? I'm good. It was nice meeting you. God damn it! Uh, well, that's my cue, losers. See you on the flip side. Yeah, it's getting... It's getting a little late. Does it get late here? I think I should probably... I should be heading out, too. Crap, Lola. Both of them. They smell like we're gonna have an electrical fire. What does that mean? Ultra fishy. I told you to stop with those fucking obscure smell jokes. I'm not kidding you. Seriously though, we haven't talked to that many people yet, but Greg was just lying to that demon. Double but Eliza is acting really weird too, and nobody seems to know who she is. God, this is all reminding me of something. Ding, 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 ding! Distant memory bell, what could be ringing? Maybe it's when Lola was hell monitor, nervous about talking to the taller boys. Or maybe it's when she told on Cynthia Lackey when Cynthia cheated on her algebra test. There's a lot of possibilities here. <laughs> it's hard to pick just one. Oh, what is it now, Wormhorn, huh? What, you gonna say I follow the rules too much, put some doubts in my head over who's guilty? Hey, it wasn't my idea in the first place, Pancakes. You're the one that remembered something. Wanna know what it was? You were in the 10th grade, washing your jeans. Your dog had just been run over by your neighbor. And you were thinking that the world was shit and people were dung better. And now you're looking around this bar for someone who's probably dung better too. I mean, it must take a certain kind of cretin to sneak into hell, right? And now you're standing there, wondering if you're any better. Actually, I was just wondering if I still had those jeans. You do still have those jeans. They're in your closet, on top of the wish chest you prayed on to shrink two inches. Lock her out, Lola, come on. She's a, she's an undigested piece of cheese, right? A, a momentary mental disorder. Look, whatever, just make sure you pick the right gal, local H. I couldn't bear to watch Father Christmas add more time to your sentence for wrongful prosecution. Don't say anything, I'm fine. I really think we should go after Greg, try to get a confession. I... I don't know. Eliza seemed weirder to me. 
We could split up. We're not splitting up. We're in a bar in hell. Just pick one. You want Eliza, I think Greg. Want to talk more to Greg? Greg made up that whole bullshit story. I really don't think we should let him get away. Bye, everybody. Nice to, nice to meet you. All right, well, hope your instincts are sharp. Take the reins. Hey, uh, fellow hooligans, what are we watching? <sighs> the carnal malefactors are getting their asses handed to them by the virtuous pagans. Huh, what's the score? It's like soccer. The score doesn't matter until it does, but hey, at least it's boring. A giganticide, thanks. One giganticide coming up. Hey, uh, Greg? Uh-huh. What is it? Do I have toilet paper on my shoes again? Uh, Greg, hey, wait up. <laughs> Let's get to know each other. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna know more about you. Like, for instance, why and how are you here right now? Uh, yeah. I had a musculoskeletal disease. Had it since birth. <laughs> Time finally expired at 33. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't be. My sister always says, you don't deserve anything in life but the ability to complain. Look, I'm at the point of the evening where I'm either getting on the expressway to drunken idiocy land, or I'm taking the slow boat to my apartment filled with human-sized cockroaches that watch bad sitcoms in the common area all night. So if, I don't know, you want to play like a drinking game or something? Yes, let's, let's do that. Yeah? Want to do it? You versus me? Actually, you know what? I am just drunk enough. For... Yeah, when you talk, it's hard to put liquids down your mouth. So just meet me at the table. Get him nice and liquored up and he'll spill his guts. Hopefully not literally. You better really hope not literally. Because if I get entrails on my favorite overalls, I'm taking it out on your ass. Hiya. <laughs> You're not, um, pre-med by any chance, are you? <laughs> Thanks for the stirring conversation. No, I used to play, uh, not professionally, but in college before I tore my, uh, whatever cuff. No shit. Yeah, but now I just possess pigskins, make them fly into old ladies' faces. I'll watch out for you on the wide world of sports. What can I get you, young'uns? I'll take a Ling Chi. A Ling Chi, you got it. What's this guy's deal? Oh, Barry? Barry can never handle the sauce, so we always prank him. Honestly, I think the demons took it a little far this time. What, with crucifying him onto a dartboard? But <laughs> funny's funny. <laughs> gotcha, my gotcha, for McNogan. Ah, party animals deserve party hats. Party hats? Is this like a clue fountain? Or a waste of time. The guy has like 18 dicks and 13 vaginas drawn on him. Yeah, nice to meet you, Greg. Ah, don't drive over the cliff. All those drinks coming. <laughs> I'm Lola, this is... Cut the shit. I saw you talking to that, uh, to that woman and, and that guy, Greg? Greg. Greg, asking him things, stirring up trouble. The point is you're poking your nose where it don't need to be poked. That what gets you off? Watching people squirm? Hey, so what if we are, huh? We're not here to celebrate Charlie's bus crash. We are here to solve a, a case of mistaken identity. I'm sorry. That mall Easter bunny told me I shouldn't lash out at people. The truth is, I'm not even supposed to be here. And uh, if it wasn't for Charlie, you know, I, I wouldn't be. Out with it. How'd you do it, huh? Self-asphyxiation? Those medical... Uh, pad things? 
I tried to drive the party bus with my erect penis. Um... What? Oh, I'm, I'm just failing to see the connection. I was just trying to make them laugh. But my cock isn't as good a steering tool as I was led to believe. Thank God Charlie doesn't remember I'm the one that crashed the bus. Due to your maple. Due to my pork sword, yes. Okay, but wait, hold the phone. You're not the guy who snuck into hell, though? You really died in the wreck? Listen, can you work with me on this? Can we... Let's make a deal, all right? If you're looking for somebody, I think I know who it is. But you can't tell anyone about my skin flute accidentally killing my best friend and almost everyone he likes. Sound fair? You're on, Pete. Now what can you tell us? Okay, that Greg kid would be the first person I'd look into. But you didn't hear that from me. All right, you know how to play, right? Drink them, rack them, stack them. Highest, fastest, ladder to God wins. I got outdrank by a blacksmith who cheated his knights once. Yeah, this isn't calculus. Let's just do it. Okay, let's do it. Got your glass? To bad decisions. To bad decisions. To bad decisions. Ready, set, get wrecked. Yeah, come on, Lola, you're winning! Pick up the pace, Lola. I'm gonna be honest, this is not a good look. Want to just try again now, or maybe come back later? I don't. Let's just do it again. Come on. Okay, let's do it. Ready, set, get wrecked. Come on, Lola, you're falling behind. Go, hurry it up. Man, why are you so good at this? Good, uh, good game, man. Good, you are. You're good at that. God, I miss that. That, that feeling of, of not giving a shit, you know? Of how much I'm, I, I you, know, you can't do it as, as hard when you're, well, when I'm alive. No, because of the medication. What medication? Musculoskeletal. Yeah, yeah, that's how Dr. Slater, that's how she said it. Pronounce every syllable. But whatever, man. You know, whatever. We're, we're all we all got a fucking hourglass over our heads, you know? We're all we're all running on God's time, God's plan. Hey, I'm I'm on the clock here too. Eh, gonna run out soon. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? You're not supposed to be here, you silly little rabbit. I got a uh, I got a confession to make. I'm not 33. I'm 29. But I know I'm like dead at 33. Like Christ and the fat guy from Blues Brothers. That's what Dr. Slater said. And and I know I'm going to hell, you know? I, I You don't go to the other fucking place by being a pain in the ass like I've been. I never call my mom back, and, and I don't talk to my sisters. They don't deserve that, right? But I, I like to test the waters by ODing on my prescriptions every once in a while, just to see what the long haul here will, will be like. They always, they always bring me back. Eh, it's not as hard as it looked. Huh. But well, what if you, what if you mess up, man? You can't mess up dying, little girl. You can only mess up, uh, mess up living. 
And like your bathroom if you miss your toilet. I know they're looking for me. I've I've done too much shit here. You guys are cool, right? You're you're not gonna turn me in, are you? I mean, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be kosher. Nope. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of Dodge, buddy, and you you picked the wrong prom night. What are you saying? We're turning his ass in, Milo. I don't give a damn what his sob story is. We all got one. And yours is, he tried to outdrink the wrong fucking girl. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see what campus security's gonna do. See you guys, well, see you guys never. Cause, you know, whatever. Two humans working on it. Hey, how's it going? Any luck catching that creep? Because believe me, I am ready for my shift to be over. Yeah, he's a guy named Greg, <laughs> so you know how that goes. Greg? I was expecting like Samuel or something, but <laughs> don't ask me why. Maybe because that's my brother's name? Yeah, best not to think about it. Delinquency department? Yeah, oh. Hi, Jenny. Hi, uh, how you doing? Yeah, good, good. Anyways, we found the Waldo. <laughs> yeah, it's been a night. <laughs> a meat pile named Greg. He's at Feisty's right now. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, it, it took longer than I thought it really did. <laughs> Thanks. Say hi to a Dramalek for me. Okay, bye. Shit, I forgot he left her for his podiatrist. Uh, what'll happen to, uh... Oh, nothing much. They'll probably take him and give him a stern talking to, you know, right before condemning them to eternity in the Ninth Circle. Eh, they'll be hacked into infinite pieces by multi-limbed feathered serpents who do not fuck around, let me tell you. I've seen him in action. Woo! Oh, sounds... yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. This is such... such a big help. Uh, I know you did it just for the invite, but... When you get to the party, we should get that drink you promised me you would have with me. Down good? Yeah, most definitely. You helped us out here, like, more than you can imagine. What the fuck? Are you, are you serious? How could you, motherfuckers? Just, uh, just pretend you can't hear him. I can hear you pretending you don't hear me, you giant asshole! I'm gonna get flayed here! All right, get out of here, you knuckleheads. <laughs> Just uh, drop my name at the entrance and I'll let you in. Thanks again, guys. So, should we, like, talk about what just you know, Milo, I I just don't want to, okay? I'm gonna take a mulligan on this one. I just, I don't wanna think about it, so I'm just not. There are some things that are just beyond. Like, I, I really like chocolate milk. I really like it. And I and I donated a lot of my time. Hey, it's the Nastron school mascots. A leopard, a lion, and a she-wolf. Mm. Established at the onset of humanity's axial age to combat ignorance of the flabby creature's quickening development, I wonder if they let people take classes. So, should we, like, talk about what just... You know, Milo, I... I just don't want to, okay? I'm gonna take a mulligan on this one. I just... I don't wanna think about it, so I'm just not. There are some things that are just... beyond. Like, I... I really like chocolate milk. I really like it. And I and I donated a lot of my time to homeless shelters and animal shelters and money to organizations and so fuck it, okay? I'm gonna enjoy my chocolate milk without any pontificating about how the cows are sad and the workers are sad and the truckers that ship it are sad and how the agricultural industry is fucked up in countless ways and, and so on. I'm just... I, I am chocolate milking this. Sounds good. 